Are there dragons in Cornwall? Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here. Um, this idea was put to me when I produced this drawing and posted it on Instagram. It's uh, I've already made a video of that, so you've probably seen that. And it's just a sketch of some rocks that I did in Paper by 53 um, of Porthminster Beach in Cornwall. And when I posted it on Instagram, a guy called David J Artist posted a comment that says, a sleeping dragon. Well, that grabbed my imagination, as you can see with my reply. And I thought, why not? Let's do it. So here it is my dragon. So I begin by sketching this out in Procreate. I've changed from paper 53. I imported the orig original sketch. I put that on a layer, changed the opacity, locked it, and then started to sketch over it using the rock face as the contours of the dragon. Now, I have to say I've never drawn a dragon before. This is totally out of my comfort zone. I didn't look at any source material at all for this. I didn't look at anybody else's dragon. This is completely out of my head. With maybe reference to uh, drawing the bearded dragon that I did a few weeks back. And uh, that that's definitely influenced this, I think. But yeah, I got no idea how to draw a dragon. So it was all sort of... Um, suck it in sea really and I was I was out of my comfort zone I didn't really have an idea what I was doing so it's a fun thing and it's cool to um push yourself I think every now and again you need to step back and, and try something different that you've never done before so the first thing that's different about this to any of my other drawings or paintings you, you'll see I actually drew the dragon first as opposed to feeling my way and painting it. And I think that was because I was so insecure by doing a dragon. I needed to see what I was going to be painting. And then I started to uh, paint over it. So it was a very different experience for me. And the result, I think, is very different to what I normally do as well. So... Uh, gone are just sort of getting loads of colour on there. I, um, as I say, begin with this outline and then um, I start adding colour to that. And then the outline became a problem because it was sort of dominating the painting and I didn't want the outline. I didn't want it to be a drawing. I wanted it to be a painting. Although I am using pastels, not paints. Maybe if I had switched paints it would have been a bit more um maybe easier to get that paint to make it look like a painting but here yeah, you notice i changed the background to dark because i am working in pastels uh just start, i just started off using the charcoal to sketch out the dragon and i didn't really intend to do a charcoal drawing now i've created a new layer set the blend mode to multiply to put those shadows in and now I, I created another one uh, for the highlights and set that to uh, light and here you can see I'm starting to get to grips with getting rid of some of these black lines because I really didn't want the, it to be a drawing I wanted it to look more like I'm not saying photo realistic at all because it isn't but I wanted it to look more like a not not a drawing but a sort of a a serious attempt at, at doing a dragon color wise i'd got no idea where i was going with this so i've sort of gone with um i i, I guess um aqua blues really and oranges as a complementary color with that with this kind of the greens on the top of the dragon and then the oranges and the warmer colors on its underbelly and you can see I'm sort of smudging out all of those black lines now and it, it was not a, a, a way I felt comfy working it did feel really really weird but I, I kept at it at, at some point I felt like sort of calling it a day and uh, giving up on it 
But I thought, no, you know, keep going because um, there's bits of it that I like. I like the horns. I, I like some of the scales. I like the underbelly. And um, I didn't really concentrate on the foreground or the rocks or anything too much. I just sort of sketched them in um, roughly. That's not what the um, objective was here. This is a fun thing, by the way. It's not anything I'm taking serious or would intend to sell or anything like that. I just wanted to turn these rocks into a dragon. So, by the way, are there um, dragons in Cornwall? That is the title of the video. And uh, who knows? You know, um, I think they are because I love anything mythical. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings uh, I've read read the book, listened, uh, watched the film, listened to the radio play, uh, watched the cartoon version uh, before they made the the trilogy of Lord of the Rings. So I'm into all of that, and I just love the idea that there that there would be dragons in the world, and um, maybe that was a fossilized one on those rocks. Who knows? <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, honestly, I, I I hope you don't think this video was clickbait saying are oh, there dragons or putting forward some serious attempt at um, discussing the idea of there being dragons uh, in Cornwall. I think there are because I love all that and I believe in ghosts and fairies and all of that, or I like to, you know. Uh, here I'm working on the eye. I felt that I needed to, uh, I didn't like it sort of black and white and I changed the colours. I tried to put a bit more detail in it and um, maybe I got it a bit too much like a human eye. I don't know. I tried to keep that slit thing going off to give it that sinister dragon look. And obviously you can't see all of the eye because it's sort of covered by the cheek of the dragon. I don't know. I think it's all is okay. Again, this wasn't a massively long uh, time. I didn't spend a massive amount of time on this. What well, I, I changed to the pencil now, the six B pencil. If you're interested in Procreate, um, just to sort of sharpen up some of the edges. I felt they were all a little bit soft in places, and I wanted to. Um, sharpen all of that up having spent a lot of time getting rid of all the sharp edges from the, the charcoal and then putting some more highlights on there taking them out putting them on taking them out and it's important when you're putting highlights on that they're not all going to be the same brightness over the whole of the piece i felt the jaw would be uh, shaded slightly by the muzzle of the dragon and uh, or the snout of the dragon whatever you want to call it so I kind of made those a little bit darker. And you can see under the horns, the highlights aren't as bright. I thought it needed a little bit more detail in there. I'm just experimenting with colours and um, blending out. I've got the um, same charcoal um, brush set on the smudge tool or the blending tool to blend that out as well. So I, I think I chose Procreate for this because um, doing the dragon was such a out of my comfort zone type thing. I felt I needed to use an app that um, I felt really comfy with so I wouldn't be fighting two hurdles at once. Here I, I decided to uh, put a little bit of smoke coming out of the... Um, dragon's nose sort of breathing and resting uh, just to give it a little bit of atmosphere and then I go back into that uh, lower jaw and start adding a little bit more detail I just felt it needed that those final touches to uh, just make it look like a gnarled up dragon that uh, that was a really solid beast that would be quite menacing. So that is it. That is 
uh, my dragon complete. Let's just watch the transformation from the rocks. There we are. That is the fossilized dragon awakening to the live one. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. If you did, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.